one day. A couple of kids get razor blades in their candy. Police come around. That's when I saw the true face of fear. Get on your knees. Torture them. Kill them. Right there on the spot. I was a huge fan of the original film growing up. I didn't actually watch the sequels um, until later. I didn't even know when I was younger that there were sequels. So it was really cool to, to visit them later because they're they're so different in tone. You know, they're made by different directors. They're so different from the original. So my connection was always to the Bernard Rose 1992 film. Then to be able to go into that world, go into that mythology, and as a fan, like really like get my hands dirty with it was really, really fun. I'm really honored to be able to continue the Candyman legacy. Candyman, the original, 92 original, was a figure that I grew up with in my childhood and was probably the most scary thing mm -hmm. that I imagined or saw. So to be able to continue that legacy and expand upon it is really, really special. The social commentary, you know, that's gonna come from this film, that's gonna give people an opportunity to leave the film and talk about the horror, to talk about the comedy, talk about the unexpected things, but then to say, well, okay, what did that film actually mean? And, you know, what were they saying? That's the part of the legacy and the experience that I'm really, really excited to be a part of. There's a lot of possibilities. I love that it's not, it's a little gray. It's not necessarily black and white, um, uh, William Burke's uh, objectives. I think that he's very clear that he has to do something, that he has been the keeper of this trauma and that it's also necessary to examine it and unpack it and not to cover it up and not to just be overrun by gentrifiers who don't know exactly who these people are or were a part of the community and how it was built. And he's one of the last standing people there in his little laundromat and he wants to make sure that his presence is still known and that the neighborhood and the people, they didn't suffer and die for nothing but that you help remember their names. Because I'm a big nerd fan of this, I was just like really geeked out, like to meet them and to be able to work with them. And like, even like, I, you know, Casey Lemons, who was in the original film, who played Bernadette, like she, she's like one of my mentors. So it was like crazy even to be like, Casey, I'm making Candyman. Like, you know, it's weird. Like, it's great to have these connections to the past. And that's so much of what the movie's about, um, how, we, how we deal with them. You should say it. Candyman. Say his name.